Now to the debate over reopening schools with just two weeks to go until students are welcomed back on campus in Seminole County. News 6 is getting a first look at what classrooms will look like for the new school year. News 6's Nadine Giannis joins us now. And Nadine, teachers just got back into their classrooms for the first time today. That's right, and we are getting a look inside the classrooms. Now, Seminole High School is the third largest high school in the entire state of Florida. 4,300 students on this campus on any normal given year. 1,800 are set to return for face-to-face -face learning, and we're getting a look at how teachers are planning to keep them safe. I'm going to leave them right where they are, but that's, that's, that's why I have the signs for the six feet, so they don't sit right next to each other. Back in his classroom for the first time, teacher Nick Eagle has already set up his desks, laminating his own signs to keep students socially distanced. Everything changes day to day, so we don't know what things are going to look like a week, two weeks from now. But I think we have the rules and the procedures in place that will make most people feel as comfortable as possible. Time is quickly counting down to the first day of school, giving teachers here in Seminole County less than two weeks to get ready. We're going to get as much technology into the hands of our teachers as possible. Principal Jordan Rodriguez taking us through some of the new technology purchased, like this virtual teaching system. The teacher can control quite a bit from this tablet. About five teachers in the IB program here will be given this webcam that will follow the teacher in a face to face learning atmosphere for kids at home that are taking the class virtually. The district also purchasing 25 thousand desk partitions for students. Principal Rodriguez said about 1600 of those are on their way here to Seminole High School. I didn't know if that was going to happen or not, so that's that's definitely good good news. Seminole School Superintendent Walt Griffin in our new six reopening schools town hall last night, giving this message to parents ahead of school starting. And it's about being compassionate and being respectful. Um, I respect every parent who's made every decision they have to make. Those are difficult decisions. I understand what you're going through. And it was a difficult decision for parents, but an important decision because that gives time for teachers to prepare. Again, school starts here in Seminole County on August 17th. That's less than two weeks away. Students should be getting their schedules next week on August 10th. Guys, back to you. Nadine Giannis reporting live for us. Thank you. And we went in depth with the superintendents of Seminole and Orange counties, as well as several other people during our reopening schools town hall last night. You can rewatch that right now at clickorlando.com. There you can also find in depth coverage on how Central Florida school districts plan to reopen. Just head to clickorlando.com slash reopening schools.